Assalamu alaikum alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh friends welcome back to my channel in this session I will demonstrate that how we can make circuit diagram of this PCB using computer softwares in my last video I demonstrated how we can make a circuit diagram using carbon paper and while tracing with ballpoint but today we will use paint shop but for a simple work I will demonstrate how we can use different tools to reverse engineer a board for that purpose first of all I need a very clear picture of this PCB so now I will take picture black and white and uh, color picture and I will transfer this photo this picture in the computer and then we will start let's see now I am connecting my mobile phone to the computer so these are the pictures which I captured I will paste it here and I will check which one is the best picture we can see because I used different filters this is good this one is good now go to your chrome browser type here pixlr.com and x pixlr x open image uh, reverse engineering number one okay original live yes we received here this picture is here now we will use cut tool magic cut remove and we will click it the area other than the tracks it is removing the background that's good we will remove all the background and we will leave just the tracks if you have a good computer at that time you will need a KiCad software that is from KiCad organization KiCad ORG that is also very useful tool but that is very advanced level this magic tool it is very useful and uh, after that we will move to paint shop and we will give a final touch there in that software we will retouch it in the paint shop now we will save it save save as okay uh, we will save on desktop triple one save yes close it we can see it removed the background now it is some visible clear now we will open the coral paint shop professional 2018 paint shop professional 2018 file open from the desktop here is file open yes now we will use a razor tool it is very useful in the tool control in the tool panel we will select as a normal tool in the square shape size 150 we can adjust the size of this tool as per our requirement then hardness must be 100 step 1 to 7 step 1 that is good and density 100 thickness that is thickness of the tool rotation we will adjust the rotation as per our requirement for example now I am setting in 0 degree so it will the tool will work in vertical position opec 100 that's good I will adjust the length of the tool height now the special thing here that in diagram we don't need uh, too much white tracks we just only just only we need the lines for that purpose we will reduce the line size because here we need just connections now 
90 we will remove all unnecessary area and which is you being used as a background tool 400 and we will uh, remove this area it is just only demonstration you can use when you are making the diagram it is very useful rotation 0 degree and tool 300 height yes it's good now here I will use the rotation 45 degree so for 45 degree it will give in this angle and now I will set to 135 degree to cut in this angle just only adjust the size of the tool and cut it as per your requirement yes it's good I will rotate at 90 degree and I will select the tool at 200 now we can remove these spaces and we will use 90 degree rotation to cut it from this area So this ground is reaching from this side so we don't need the ground passing under this rectifier 0 degree and we will remove this area so that we can install the resistor here directly now I am removing the components so we can now draw the components on the paper to make space for the components yes now we removed components now it is ready to print out now we will take a print out and then we will place the components we can place components in the computer as well using powerpoint or any other photo editing software or we can place it here if we have the models for the components but no problem for a simple understanding I will demonstrate how we can place components on the paper so that will uh, much understandable wow oh, that's awesome if we start from here the first pin line neutral in the line there is a fuse so in the line there is fuse so this is our line terminal and this terminal is reaching here after this line we are reaching here then we have jumpers here so make the jumpers after jumpers we have component here that is class X capacitor then this track is reaching here make the notes this line is reaching here and this one is reaching here here we have dual line filter 
then to the bridge rectifier line line in the output side bridge this end is connected to capacitor positive terminal so that means this is positive this is negative capacitor negative terminal positive terminal that is here positive terminal is reaching to this capacitor negative terminal negative terminal reaching to this point and we have also capacitor here one capacitor in negative terminal the second capacitor in positive terminal one capacitor the second then the negative terminal is reaching here to optocoupler here we have optocoupler one pin the second pin and this is the jumper jumper is reaching to IC and we have capacitor here then we have this IC cut side 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 this is cut and this is index pin so this is pin number 8 opposite to pin number 8 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 5 6 7 8 are connected together and these are reaching to transformer winding that is here at this point we have capacitor connect a capacitor here capacitor second end that is connected to this resistor we will write the values of the components so this resistor is here now and it is reaching here this is one end of the transformer the second end and these positive voltage these are reaching here that means this point at this point is transformer primary winding because positive here the negative is reaching to IC pin number 3 here we have and it will switch the negative voltage to the transformer primary winding so this is transformer primary winding this is auxiliary winding one end of the auxiliary winding is grounded that is here then we have here resistor this one 6.1 ohm resistor and its output is reaching to a rectifier here we have zener diode and across the diode we have capacitor so these voltage are reaching to IC pin number 2 one capacitor between pin 1 and 3 1 and 3 we have capacitor here pin number 2 we have here we have capacitor this is jumper in the output side we have this winding this end is common common is reaching here this end it is reaching here we have short key rectifier here this is the output terminal across this short key rectifier we have RC snubber for the recovery of this diode and now we have this positive voltage in the output here we have a capacitor here positive negative so this is our negative line now these two points are terminated points of the winding no connection this negative terminal is reaching to TL431 anode anode reference pin and this is cathode then these positive voltage are reaching from this point to this point we have positive voltage output this is jumper positive out negative out these negative voltage are jumpered here if you see in the positive side we have resistor here and this resistor is reaching to anode of this optocoupler so this resistor 
is reaching here and here we have one resistor across cathode to anode that is here and we have one capacitor and one resistor one capacitor one resistor and we have one resistor here connected to positive line and this point is reaching to reference pin and here we have one resistor and we have one resistor two resistors and these are connected to ground now we completed the circuit now we can arrange it in some paper you can draw in the computer software or you can draw now in very simple ways Here we have capacitor, yes that's good. So in this way we can draw any circuit diagram using this technique. Just only take picture and copy in the computer, erase the background. If this video is good hit the like button, if you have any question let me know in the comment box. Thanks for watching. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.